Let's look at this issue, this F-bomb, fake, F-A-K-E. Most of us, if you were to just sit down and talk, if we were to talk one-on-one or two-on-one or six-on-one or whatever, and I interviewed you, most of you would say, I don't like fake people. I don't like fake products. <laughs> Out in the yard yesterday, Julie and I spent the day yesterday just together catching up on so much after I'd been for a whole day on Friday representing Christ Church and others in Montgomery, Alabama at the uh, WCA gathering as a delegate. And so I came home to spend time with my wife as a gift that I could give her. And so we just worked on the yard and I was putting grass clippings in the bag and it just tore. I was like, who bought these cheap bags? I remembered I did. <laughs> and I said, I'm never gonna buy them again. Where did I buy those from? <laughs> Man, I hate fake stuff, you know? And the price was not fake, it was retail. And, and I was, man, I was, don't you just hate fake things? I mean, to go at a dessert counter and see a chocolate cake that looks like it's to die for, and then when you eat it, it's like, I paid $9 for this, and it's terrible. I don't like fake organizations. I don't like fake products. Most of us don't like fake people. We don't like fake churches. We don't like fake preachers. So why is it that we often tolerate counterfeit? Let's look at the definition. Powerful definition. To counterfeit means to imitate something authentic with the intent to steal, destroy, or replace the original for use in an illegal transaction or otherwise to deceive individuals into believing that the fake is of equal or greater value. 